Good morning. Today our objective is to calculate the length of a line on the Cartesian plane. So first, let's see what the formula is and how we get it. So this is our formula, also known as the distance formula. D is equal to the square root of the quantity x2 minus x1 all squared plus the quantity y2 minus y1 all squared. So where does this formula come from? We're looking to find the distance between two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2. So if we look at this, there's a straight line distance here. And if we complete our diagram by drawing this horizontal line and this vertical line, we will see that we have a right angle to triangle. So by applying Pythagoras' theorem, if we know the length of this side and the length of that side, we can square them and add them together, and that will give us the square of the hypotenuse here. So what would be the length of this side? Well, here, if this point has coordinates x2, y1, then the length of this horizontal line would be x2 minus x1. And the length of this vertical line would be y2 minus y1. So the horizontal distance is the x2 minus x1. The vertical distance is y2 minus y1. If we square those and add them together, that would give you the square of the length of the line. So the length of the line would be the square root of that. So let's get into an example. What is the length of the line joining the points 5, 16, and 8, 20? We write our coordinates and our formula. Then after that, it is straight substitution. So we'll have 8 minus 5 and 20 minus 16. So 8 take away 5 is 3, and 20 take away 16 is 4. When we square that, 3 squared is 9, and 4 squared is 16. We add them together, 9 plus 16 is 25, and then finally, we square root that, which will give us 5 units. Next example, what is the length of the line joining the points negative 9, 1, and 3, negative 4? So there are some negative values involved here, but that should not make any difference, as long as you keep track of your signs. So we write our coordinates, and we write our formula, and then we substitute. So we'll have 3 take away negative 9, and negative 4 take away 1. So when we simplify, 3 take away negative 9 is the same as 3 plus 9, that gives us 12. And negative 4 take away 1, the signs are the same, so you add and keep the sign, that gives you negative 5. So when we square that, 12 squared is 144, and negative 5, when you square that, will give you a positive 25. Keep in mind that whenever you square a negative number, it will always give you a positive number because a negative times a negative is equal to a positive. So we add 144 plus 25, and that gives us 169. And the square root of 169 is 13, so our answer is 13 units. So practice on this problem here while you look at our beautiful lighthouse in Belize City. And the answer will be revealed in 3, 2, 1. So... If you enjoyed this video, I think you will enjoy these other videos as well in the upper right-hand corner and lower left-hand corner. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.